Hi there everyone and welcome back to the channel. Welcome also to the progress review of the mods that are being tested. Basically, how the famous testing list evolves, what is new in there, what is missing, what's interesting or caught my attention. So, let's get to it. In order to have the right view of what's going on, we are going to start by paying attention to what happened with the mods that were being tested yesterday. And we have to start, of course, with the TLX 2020. It was on release pending early in the morning and we all get excited. We saw it hit the mod hub for everybody for all platforms at the very beginning of the new mod drop. And, of course, we got excited about it. A legend was back. Shortly after the release, we received a couple of messages with the same issue. We had a chat with Giants and figured that a bug inside the game is causing the problems, not the mod. The issue has been identified by Giants and the fix will be included in the upcoming patch 1.3 for the game and for all platforms. The DLX 2020 was restricted as PC Mac only until the patch is released in the upcoming weeks. Moving on and analyzing the progress of the mods that yesterday were being tested, there are 41 mods that are still being tested. We have a total of 22 mods that are no longer in today's testing list. And we can read that as mods that have been sent back to the mother to change or fix an issue detected by giants while testing the mod. I'd like to make a special mention to the CSZ implements pack. A lot of people waiting for those. And also to the versatile New Holland Tractors pack. With all that, 10 mods from that list have been released today. But again, one mod was removed shortly after the release. We don't know the reasons, but the mod direct sale price increase has been removed from the mod hub. Among the mods released, we can see the additional game settings is back, plus a fresh new update to the GPS mod, both PC Mac only. Now let's pay attention to today. Let's pay attention to what's in testing today because we have 52 mods being tested. If we compare that to previous days, the amount of mods in testing decreased. We started at 101 mods. We went down to 81 and today we are also down to 52. Moving in to analyze the mod in testing today, the first point to analyze or to review are the new entries, meaning mods that have been included today in the testing list for Farming Simulator. Those could be totally new or mods that are coming back into testing after getting fixed by the modder. We have 11 new entries into testing list, splitting it up into 7 at PC testing and 4 at console testing. With all that, there are two mods that passed PC testing, progressing successfully to console testing, and if they pass, they could be released soon. We are talking about raisin and grapes pellets, and, and, now we need the double drum, brrr, the old stream farm by Black Sheep Modding. I cannot wait for that map to hit the mod hub and to play with it. Now, talking about these 11 new mods in testing, really can't see anything that actually gets my attention. That's my personal opinion, of course. But I can see that the Lizard Golf Cart is back into console testing, which for sure will be something that a lot of people will be eager to play with. In my case, I will download it, edit, titanize it, and see what happens. I cannot close today's analysis without mentioning that we keep pushing forward with our own mods. The Phoenix and the X52 trailer are both still with Giants waiting to be tested in between more than a thousand mods also waiting to be tested. Any news or progress related to them can be found on the Facebook page, Instagram or at the community tab here in the channel. Stay tuned if you want to hear a deeper analysis of what's going on within the testing of new mods for Farming Simulator. Having said that, be nice, play nice and see you around in the channel.